it's finally here. The second trailer for Dune is finally here. I heard it was supposed to debut on Friday, but I'm glad it debuted today because I had the day off. So, uh, Dune is a movie that I'm kind of, I'm really looking forward to. I'm really especially looking forward to seeing this in IMAX. It looks like that movie I would see in IMAX, to be honest. Because of the scale, the size of the movie, it looks incredible already. The cast looks incredible. Uh, Denis Villeneuve, uh, he is a very interesting filmmaker. And I'm definitely curious to see what he'll do with this property, to be honest. Um, I haven't really read the, I haven't read the book. I'm trying to read through it. And... I don't know. I feel like at the same time, this movie's not really going to be a big hit. I feel like it's going to be like Blade Runner 2049, where it's going to be like, hey, a lot of people really love this movie, but general audiences probably won't even bother seeing it. And it will definitely get a lot of awards, probably, for the technical categories, at least. So, also, like, looking back at that first trailer, that first trailer was really good and really, it, it was really exciting, and the music was really great. I just feel like the story of the movie just wasn't really there, unfortunately. Like, it didn't really convince people enough to go, hey, I should see this movie. It's like, oh, look at all these big-name stars. And, I don't know. I I'm definitely curious to see how this movie will perform, but I have a feeling this movie's gonna be a Blade Runner 2049-style bomb, where it's like, people are going to be confused about, like, why did it bomb? It did so well with critics. Well, movies that are usually well-received don't usually do well at the box office, unfortunately. So, let's take a look at this thing finally. It's a three minute trailer. Wow, that is a long trailer. Three and a half minutes. Let's just take a look at this thing already. Oh, she was saying Paul. There's the sandworms again.
Did you like the way the logo is styled? Hmm. That didn't feel like three and a half minutes. So, good on them for making a trailer that felt like uh, two and a half, as, even though it was like three and a half minutes. So, that trailer, it does look visually, well, visual effects wise, it looks great. I'm not too sold on cinematography just yet. A lot of it just looks very dark and very bleak. I don't know if it's because of the way it's like, like because of the way of the lighting in my room or anything, but it just, it does not look, I don't know, it looks maybe too dark. Like, it was kind of hard to see some things. Like, I knew those were the sandworms, and I could kind of tell, like, who was who in each scene, but it was still looked kind of bleak enough. Although, like, I don't know. Again, I'm going to compare this to Blade Runner 2049 a lot, because, again, that was the director's last movie, and it's probably going to be compared a lot to it, and I'm kind of expecting a similar box office performance to that movie. So, um, as far as the acting goes... I'm not sold on it entirely just yet. I feel like a lot of the main characters, like uh, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Oscar Isaac, Rebecca Ferguson, they all kind of look very bland. Like, they're just playing the part, not really doing anything with it. And as far as, like, the humor goes, again, comparing it to Blade Runner 2049, that movie was kind of, I don't want to say bland, but it was definitely humorless for the most part. Um, this one, they're definitely showing a lot more of the humor with characters played by Jason Momoa and Josh Brolin. So, I hope that gets audiences to see this movie. Um, I'll definitely see this, I'm gonna try to see this movie in theaters twice. Once on, uh, regular screen, once in IMAX to kind of see, like, if, uh, if it, if it, like, if it's actually better in IMAX or something. So, and, um... The music, I didn't think it was as good as the music in the first trailer. I thought that song would fit perfectly with the movie. And this one, not so much. Um, again, I'm still trying to like read through the book. It's a very long book, but I still have three months before the movie comes out. So I got time. So I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's going to take a lot for people to see this movie. And then I feel like, you know, critical buzz a well-rounded cast is just not going to cut it, unfortunately. I do think the trailer's, tra trailer's fine. I just don't think it was as good as the teaser. Like, I think teaser trailers are usually better than the uh, second trailer, personally, for me. Like, it, that was a great teaser trailer. Not so great second trailer, but a great first trailer. So, I mean, I'm a little disappointed. I I'm always disappointed. I don't want to be disappointed. I, I do want to like this trailer. Um... And, again, I like the visuals. Not sold on the acting yet, and I think it's a little too dark. Not the story-wise, but uh, shot composition-wise. So, what did you think of the trailer? Um, um, do you think it's, like, as strong as the first trailer, if not stronger? Are you excited to see Dune? Uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat, and stay safe.